Hey everyone, welcome to another Rope for Q video and another match. I've been struggling for content for when I'm not doing my uh, attempts at 50 breaks because that's, that's sort of one, that's a lot of uh, Stuka sessions that go into one video. So um, I'm going to put, to fill in a couple of the gaps, I'm going to put in some random frames. Uh, and this is a random frame I played against Mike. You might remember Mike from, uh, I played him in the league and uh, it was one, it was obviously best of two in the league, and it was one frame all. In the league, uh, we played with handicaps, so Mike has a handicap of 21 and I have a handicap of 14, so it meant in the league that I got a seven head start. But for friendlies, unless I'm playing somebody really, really good, or if I'm playing somebody who has, uh, you know, who I should be giving points to, then I prefer to play, play, play from scratch to give me, you know, a bit, a bit more of an idea of, of where I'm at. And seven points is really not a lot, you know, it's, it's, it's not really a lot. It should, shouldn't make a huge difference to the frame, really. So uh, I requested that we play from scratch. He did offer me the seven points, but... Super safety from Mike. So this video is edited, but you will see every shot, hence why it's quite a lengthy one, because this is quite a scrappy frame, I'm not going to lie wasn't the highest quality snooker on display here so um, hopefully you still enjoy it but uh, it was at least close spoiler alert I guess but uh, also showing off my new graphics for the uh, scoreboard still working on some improvements to this I am eventually going to start showing breaks but uh, I haven't got them set up for this match yet. And I will only be doing breaks where there's at least a red colour at red potted, which uh, I'm not even sure we manage it in this match, to be honest. But uh, okay. Yeah, hopefully the graphics are fairly self-explanatory. Um, Points in the frame are on the very edges of the bar. The little, the white ball with the black surround it obviously indicates whose uh, shot it is because that's the cue ball. And then you've got the frames in the middle. And then you know, just because what they do on the TV, <laughs> I've put in the location of where the match is, which you know the vast majority will probably be in Shrewsbury, which is where I live. But you never know. You never know. Might be some of us. So Mike's a wily old player. He's very, very good at safety. He's very good at pinching, uh, pinching a red in the colour and and uh, you know laying a good safety. So this frame was a bit of a mental challenge for me actually because uh, it was one of those where for the first sort of you know the, the frame actually lasted about forty five minutes. This video has been cut down to about twenty five minutes, but for the, probably the first twenty minutes of real time, I felt like I just wasn't getting much in the way of an easy chance and uh, also I just arrived at the club so I, I, I'd not had any chance to warm my arm up or anything like that. I'd literally not played a shot until my break off um, and you know some people prefer not to warm up but uh, I actually do feel I need a lot of five ten minutes of getting my arm going just to uh, and my, get my aim sorted just to feel like I've you know turned up if you like but didn't didn't have a chance in this frame it was just a friendly so it wasn't a problem really um, another cracking safety from Mike oh he's unlucky though finds the gap but the uh, the gap leads straight to the uh, pocket forgotten about that shot pretty happy with this safety from me though just maybe hit it a bit too hard yeah just a little bit too hard So yeah, trying to do battle with Mike on the safety front, which is not, you know, a bit a bit like Mark Selby, probably not the best idea. Probably should trust my potting a bit more. Another cracking safety from Mike. But that wasn't good. I should have probably gone for the pot because I didn't get this safety right. Uh, I was lucky not to leave anything easy though for him. Didn't get a million miles away from that. 
but close it with safety in mind. Just a containing safety from me. Didn't really get into that very well. I wanted to really be behind the uh, behind the brown and yellow, but didn't play that well. Give chance, Mike. Uh, give Mike chance to give Mike the chance of the cross table double. But as you see, plays it again with safety in mind. So not you know, he definitely was playing for that shot and uh, manages to get it and get the blue. It's a bit unlucky to cannon the brown and yellow. If he'd gone through the gap like he did when he went in off, then he would have been almost certainly on a red. Again, another very good safety. Oh, he's unlucky. If just a little bit less pace, that would have been nicely behind the yellow. Still, not left me much. I'm just, I'm just hitting these two that are, that are a rough plant. I thought they were closer than that, but obviously not. <laughs> Bit of a stretch for this one. Oh, that was close. A little bit less pace that would have probably dropped, but still should have been uh, should have been in. Bit of a miscue from Mike, and uh, gets gets away with it. To be fair, though, he's covered the easy pot into the middle with the blue, so not much else on really. Just a safety on this red. Didn't quite go as well as I hoped, but not too bad. I really need to get myself going in this match. I've not potted a ball yet. And so say we're probably on about sort of 10, 15 minute mark at the moment. So this is my chance, I think. And this is probably my first pot, actually. So I just want to screw back a little bit for the black, but absolutely no chance. So I just end up getting far more action on the cue ball than I would ever normally get in those situations. So I'm going to take this tricky brown to the middle. Just about get to the potting angle with the pink, actually. Um, I actually could maybe see more of it than I thought and end up, ended up overcutting it. So just the safety from Mike and another good one. But at least I've got some points on the board that aren't fouls. Uh, not quite on that one, but again, played it as a bit of a shot to nothing. Not far off. Means Mike left me something. Yeah, probably this red next to the pink. Oh, actually, I'm going for the slightly wider cut just because the position is better. Um, Played it with some pretty deep screws, trying to get back up the table. But I wasn't actually playing the safety shot. <laughs> so I'm just going to have a look at this. this. Tricky with the rest. Can get to the... Oh. Yeah, should be able to get this in, hopefully. Nope. Good positional shot, I guess, but <laughs> no good if you don't get the point in. So Mike's having to use his extension. Mike brings his own extension to the club, which is uh, quite fancy. Yeah, decent pot, but not really sure what colour I was playing for. I don't think it was this brown because I would have, wouldn't have wanted to be close to the cushion. But at least I'm pretty much dead straight on this brown. So just stun run through to get onto the red in the middle, but I just don't hit it hard enough. 
Well, thanks to Anne for stepping in for as a in refereeing duties. So, trying to get this in the bottom right corner, but screwing back to, for safety. But again, just not queuing very well. At least didn't leave Mike very hampered on this. This is very, very precarious. Plays it well. Not far off on the black, kind of left it tempted though, so you feel like next red in the pocket, almost guaranteed a black as well. It wasn't that one. Hmm. Yeah, he wasn't happy with that one. It was a tight. I think he could get it past if he, but it was, uh, yeah, it just wasn't there. Uh, I managed to overcut that. Oof. Just kind of decelerates on that one a little bit. Having to play this one left handed though, so this could go wrong. Yeah, played it far too hard. Absolutely no reason to come down this far for the black. I mean, it, I wanted to come down, well, I wanted to come down probably as far as this, but may, you know, maybe about six to eight inches higher. But even so, I should be cutting this in, but I don't. And they're nearly going off. So I do wonder if I'd got the point angle right, maybe I would have done enough. So just a safety shot from Mike. That red's come back up the table, a bit unlucky. So pretty low scoring frame this. Nobody's really uh, managed to uh, run away with this. Just a thin one, a little too thin. Got away with it though. Just push that red far enough up the cushion to not be on. He's played it as a reverse double <coughs> and played it very well. But the black's gone a little awkward now. It's a couple of shots he's played with the rest that he feel if, he, if he'd been able to get on his hand on the table would be like almost certain that maybe wasn't one of them but there was a couple just a safety shot through to this red so can I send this red down towards the others and get on the cushion well I got one part of the shot right cut off quite a few escapes here so just a containing one from Mike and he's left this left a chance here it's not an easy one but I can get this red in and get on the black no. Still no harm done. Nothing left on. Now, is he going to leave me something here? I think he has. I think he's left me this red closest to the right middle. 
bit awkward queuing, but just need to queue straight. That's it. Just about. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, this block is pretty much now all hanging over the ledge, so should, as long as I make some kind of reasonable contact with it, it should go in. Uh, should have hit that a little bit harder, though. Kind of left me nowhere there. I was in two minds basically to try and hold for one of the reds near the black or to go further out and hope for that red I'm near back into the right corner and I ended up not doing either. Gone into darkness, put some red, put some 20s in. The table we're playing on is a bit of a state, to be honest. This is uh, got a few holes in and uh, lots of uh, marks and stuff on it. But there's rumours of uh, two or three of these tables getting recovered over the summer, so that would be nice. I suspect this will be one of them if it is. Uh, so chicken out on anything there and just play a containing safety, really. Has this gone wrong? No, it's okay, he's left. He's not left this. I don't think I can get this red past the green. I think I do try, actually. Maybe I can. No, I just play a safety. Try to screw back behind the blue, but... It doesn't quite go according to plan, but it's okay. Pretty good shot from Mike. Get some good stopping on the cue ball to keep it safe. Just a thin one from me. But I've pushed the red over the middle, which is, uh, sorry, over the, the pocket. But have I been lucky and hampered him on the yellow? Yeah, just a little bit. Maybe not quite fully hampered, but still, he might just get it in nicely. He's just a bit unlucky that he didn't get the white out. But actually, in saying that, he's maybe been a bit fortunate that he's not stickered on all colours. Well, he, he would have been able to see the green, I guess, but he can now actually, thanks to that cannon on the red, he can now get to the black. And he's got a chance in the middle, which he gets in. So, a chance for a couple here if he gets one of these reds in. This, this tricky one closest to the bottom cushion, the uh, top cushion rather. But my lead didn't last very long, so that was a terrible shot. I got away with that, not moving the pot on. So I might just play any safety. Putting off my path to, I think I could just see the edge of that red behind the brown, but playing the Longer safety, but I don't hit it thin enough. It's okay though, I think. This one's pretty thin, he's not even like playing action, it's quite new, yeah. I think he was maybe going for the double, but I'm not sure. Not really sure what that was. Answers on a postcard. Yeah, it's all got a bit scrappy. I think we both want we're getting hungry, it's getting back up to lunchtime, so we both wanted to get get off. Yeah, good shot under the circumstances, he was hampered over the red. Tricky one to the middle. Oh, I've done that. That's not great. Hit the wrong side of the red. It wasn't quite straight, but it was. Uh, it needed to be the other side of the red. So a chance here. 
not much in the way of colours on the other end of the table though, but I still miss it. And another in off. Just need to be able to read those better. That seemed to come out of the pocket, but he's unlucky to leave it. So just some more straight queuing. It's not not straight, this one's a bit of a cut, yeah. Just hit it too hard though, I've gone too far for the black. But maybe I can get the pink in the middle. Or can I actually get through to this black? I can get through to the black. No. Good part with the rest. I on the black. So, it's building up quite a lead now with not many reds left. And considering um, I haven't potted much, <laughs> it's, uh, it could be a fairly decisive lead. No, good pot. Yeah, not much in the way of colours on. He almost gets on the yellow into the right corner, but I think he just, just, uh, it looks, it, it's just, yeah. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not on. So just the safety. I was trying to get behind the black, but under hit it a bit, so not only have I not got behind the back, but I've put this red near the middle. The tricky pot though. Happy with that pot with the rest, nicely on the black. Should be able to come naturally off the black cushion and head up towards the other red. Well, that was a plan, but I missed the pot and consequently the position wasn't so good. Close for Mike. He's okay though, I don't think this is really potable, so just try to play behind the yellow here. Which I managed, but it's not the most difficult thing to get out of. But he's overhit it a little bit and I actually get this I can get this red past the brown here. Just about. And the cannon into the blue and green is very fortunate. I mean the cannon wasn't fortunate, but it's landed fortunately, so I'm pretty much straight on this blue to the left corner. There we go. I'm giving myself a chance this yellow. It's not right up against the cushion, it's probably half a ball's width off the cushion, so... Only 13 points in it now, and still plenty left. So, and you know the amount of practice of colours. I fancy my, I always fancy myself. I always back myself to be have a chance as long as I'm, you know, within, I don't know, say 15 points at the start of the colours. that though. But I think I've left it okay. I know the cue ball's gonna come all the way back down and be pretty much dead straight into the middle into the right corner. Yeah, good pot though. Now yeah, has he left me something here or has he snooked me? And a tap of the table suggests he didn't mean that. Mm. 
And uh, yeah, I could see an edge, but didn't really get it where I wanted it. And unfortunately, Mike has, well, unfortunately for me, Mike has got that green in and got a reasonable chance of the brown here. So what am I? I'm 18 behind with 22 on, so I basically know I need all of these. But he's fluffed that a little bit. I mean, missing it is one thing, but he's actually left it. And I should be able to get off this brown and onto the blue, as long as I don't fluff this up. And I've, I've messed it up. At least I got the brown in, that was the main thing. But I nearly went in off. So I still need all of these. Just thinking about what I'm going to do here. Play the safe door. I was tempted to try to take the pot on, but just trying to bring myself back a little bit. So I'm just trying to play safe here. Which almost changed my mind again, but. So just for safety, trying to play up and down the spots avoid the uh, the double kiss and I don't hit it nearly hard enough and I haven't left an easy thing but you know this is a chance he only needs the blue oh, and he was close that would have finished it and what he's done he's brought the black out which is good for me so another just a safety bit, bit better this time No chance of a pot, pink is in the way, so I might just with a safety try to roll, I think, some kind of snooker, but just doesn't quite get that right. So, chance of a telling safety for me if I can screw back behind a pink, which I can't because I'm digging down. But at least, the, at least it's relatively safe. So just up and down the spot from Mike. Doesn't go in off. No, I can get to the potting angle with I, I can get the blue past the pink actually. But do I play it or do I play another safety? I do actually play that. And not only do I nearly go in off, just about get it safe. This is a tempter though, that Mike just does need this and the in off is covered by the pink. Uh, but he just overcuts it actually and what he's done is he's stuck it up for me so can I power this round the angles and get back down for the pink mm, put too much top spin on and not enough side on it so this pink is pretty much straight maybe a slight angle try and stun off the pink and get in behind the black for the black into the same pocket but not enough angle, or not enough stint, it's done, not sure which. Um, but, you know, I'm right behind this black. It's pretty straight. All I need to do is just roll this in. Try not to leave it if I miss it, basically. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw the cue ball back towards the cushion I've got my hand on, just to make it a little bit more difficult if he needs to pull it. But it goes in, and that's the end of that frame. So thank you for watching, and look out for the next video, which will be up on Sunday.